Hi, welcome to our channel of Igno Audiobooks. Indira Gandhi National Open University School of Continuing Education Certificate Programs Certificate in Food and Nutrition CFN CFN 1 You and Your Food Block 1 Food Groups Nutrients and Their Functions Unit 1 Food and Food Acceptance In this unit you are going to learn the definition of food nutrients and nutrition you will also learn the physiological and sociocultural aspects that influence our food acceptance 1.0 objectives after studying this unit you will to able to define food nutrients nutrition health and nutritional status list the nutrients derived from food Describe sociocultural aspects of food and list factors determining food acceptance. 1.1 Introduction Food is an integral part of our lives. We cannot live without food for more than a few days. Our body needs certain substances called nutrients, which are essential for its proper functioning and for maintaining a healthy nutritional status. The only source of obtaining these nutrients is food which we eat. Food comprises a variety of edible substances but we have to make a wise selection to get proper nourishment for our body. So let us begin by first understanding the definitions of food and nutrition. 1.2 Definitions of food and nutrition You all know what we mean by food. Food is something we eat and which can be utilized by our body. The need for food begins with the beginning of life itself because it is only through food that we get essential chemical components for life and growth. The process by which the body utilizes food is called nutrition. The food consumed by us is utilized by the processes of digestion, absorption, transport, storage, metabolism, and elimination for the Purpose of maintenance of life, growth, and normal functioning of organs and production of energy. Nutrition is thus a sum total or a combination of all these processes by which living beings receive and utilize materials necessary for the maintenance of their functions and growth and renewal of their components. So food plays an important role in maintenance of health. Health is defined by World Health Organization as a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. You will learn more about nutrition in this course. Food is what we eat while nutrition is the combination of processes by which we utilize food. You must now be wondering what it is in food that is utilized by our body. Well. While a variety of foods may be available, the basic constituents of all food are only six. These constituents are collectively called nutrients and include water, proteins, fats, carbohydrates, minerals and vitamins. Our body requires these nutrients in adequate amounts to promote good health. Our body's need for nutrients depends on many conditions slash factors such as activity climate, daily stresses of living, disease, etc. Nutrients are constituents of food and include water, proteins, fats, carbohydrates, minerals, vitamins. The condition of our health as influenced by the utilization of nutrients is called our nutritional status. Hence the ultimate benefits of good nutrition to everyone of us are health, happiness, efficiency and longevity. You will learn in more detail about nutrients in units 3 and 4 of block 2. Check your progress exercise 1 1. How are the terms food and nutrition different from each other? 2. How do you understand the term nutritional status? 3. What do you understand by nutrients? 4. List the 6 nutrients. Figure 1.1 Factors influencing food selection Look at the screen for table content 1.3 Sociocultural aspects of food We have already layered that eating is essential for life. But, what we may eat and how we prepare it, are culturally determined. 
To understand people's beliefs and habits regarding food we must know the particular society and the way it likes to cook and eat. Even though the food habits change due to many reasons, traditional food habits tend to persist. If we adopt an ecological approach, we may picture a man influenced by several environmental factors. The most intimate of these is his biological environment which is affected by the food he consumes and his state of health and disease. At different levels, there are physical and psychosocial environments in which a number of factors play their role, prominent among these being education, economics and culture. Thus, though the soil and climatic conditions affect food production, availability and preservation, culture determines beliefs and practices regarding food selection and preparation. Education may then further influence these while the economic factors largely determine the amount and to some extent the quality of food selected and purchased. In the following units we will learn about the specific socio-cultural aspects that affect food consumption at various ages and the physiological condition of women and children. Practical activity 1 From your own experience and through discussion of your neighbor's experience, list factors which affect food selection. 1.4 Factors determining food acceptance The subject of food acceptance is a complex one as we are not completely rational either in our acceptance or rejection of food. You would have realized that few aspects of living are as likely to be emotionally charged as those associated with food. So the presentation of well-prepared, highly nutritious food before us does not mean that we will accept it. Let us see what factors influence our acceptance of food. These factors could be physiological, socio-cultural and psychosocial. You are listening to this audiobook on Audio Learning Gnu. 1.4.1 Physiological Factors Influencing Food Acceptance I. Hunger People who are in starvation will usually, but not always accept anything edible that will fill the stomach. The food they accept might even be something that they would normally dislike. It is also true that some people may refuse food even when they are actually hungry, if the food offered does not conform to their cultural or religious acceptance pattern. You would have observed even in your own behavior that you do not choose by instinct what is best for you. You eat what is available and learn through experience that some foods are better for you than others. You also learn how to make several preparations and enjoy eating them. 2. Sensations produced by food. The palatability of food is a combination of taste, aroma, texture and temperature. It is also conditioned by the surroundings in which we eat. We often accept or reject food because of its tempting aroma or repulsive smell. However, it is also true that there are some smells which we enjoy while others dislike them. The sense of touch is highly developed in our tongue. Our tongue enjoys a variety of textures, temperature and taste. Some persons like dry, crisp food, while others may enjoy soft and creamy food. Adults may enjoy steaming hot food while children may enjoy lukewarm food. Similarly, some of us may enjoy hot, sour and salty food whereas others may enjoy bland and salty or sweet and creamy food. These individual likes and dislikes of food govern our acceptance or rejection of food. 3. Age Age influences our choice of food to a large extent. For example, peanut chikki, cake, milk etc. are considered foods for children while tea and coffee are considered to be adult foods. While the younger age group enjoy rich food the older age group prefer light meals. 1.4.2 Sociocultural Factors Influencing Food Acceptance I. Role of Culture Circumstances in which we eat are largely determined by our culture. Food habits may have existed in people through centuries. And such a heritage can lead to conservatism in accepting change. These patterns reflect the social organization of the people including their economy, religion and beliefs about the health and properties of food. 
you must have noticed that an emotional reaction to the consumption of certain foods may be so deeply rooted that developing acceptance of them is almost impossible. However, it is not just certain foods but even our meal patterns that are dictated by cultural and occupational patterns. Because of the change in our working schedules, some of us have a light breakfast before going for work, while others have a heavy meal. Similarly, when we return from work, some of us prefer a heavy dinner, while others prefer a light one. 2. Social value of food. Do you enjoy eating food alone? Certainly not, not always. We usually enjoy eating food in company. Whatever be the occasion, eating together always provides a friendly atmosphere and enjoyable conversation as we invite people to our homes and go out to the houses of our friends. You must have noticed that certain foods like meat, fish, chicken, or cheese, kofta and rich curries are expensive fruits and vegetables. Fancy dessert preparations and a variety of cereal preparations like pulav, naan, parant has formed regular items of the menu on the table for any festive occasion. This is due to the social value attached to such foods. Costly foods like apples, cashew nuts, biscuits are considered prestige foods while green leafy vegetables and ragi are considered poor man's food. 3. Religious and Moral Values of Food Almost all religions place some regulations on the food we consume. Certain foods are forbidden by religious regulations. For example, Hindus do not generally eat beef. Similarly, Buddhists and Jains do not eat flesh foods or eggs while Islam forbids consumption of pork. Fasting again is common to all religions and certain foods are considered as fasting foods. Again, foods such as milk, cheese, etc. are accepted as good foods while papaya is considered a taboo in some communities. In tribal and hill regions, alcohol is a festive offer. Certain foods like sweets are regarded as rewarding foods or foods for celebration, while depriving a person of food is an accepted form of punishment. 1.4.3 Psychosocial factors influencing food acceptance Food is a symbol of security for all of us. Milk the first food we take, is usually associated with security. Have you noticed that when you were ill and away from home, you liked to drink milk because it reminded you of the loving care your mother provided you? Or, do you remember refusing milk in preference to tea or coffee just because you felt you are an adult? We also at times refuse food because we are angry with our parents or friends or when we are in sorrow. When we are happy we enjoy food. Occasionally, in order to gain attention, when we are sick or lonely, we impose unreasonable demands for food on parents, siblings or friends who are looking after us. Children are reported to have refused food when they are in a state of shock due to a disaster, as in wartime. You are listening to this audiobook on Audio Learning Gnu. Practical Activity 2-1 List those foods which you enjoy eating and state reasons if any. 2 List three foods that you do not like and give reasons. 3. List the foods that are taboo in your religion. 4. List two foods that you do not consume when you are fasting. Practical Activity 3. 1. List the foods commonly consumed in your family during the previous week along with the frequency of consumption of each food. 2. What foods are generally associated with the following occasion slash situation slash and prepared in your home a guest meal b wedding c introduction of first solid food for a baby annaprasanna d pregnancy seventh month a festivals diwali sankranti baisakhi onam 3 a try to analyze the factors which influence your acceptance of a particular food take one food for example and your rejection of another food. One example here also. B. List these factors in order. 1.5. Let us sum up. We have seen that food plays a very important part in our life. Various foods that we eat are utilized by our body through a number of processes like ingestion, digestion, absorption, 
transport and metabolism, a combination of all these processes by which the ingested food is utilized by our body is called nutrition and the state of nutrition of our body is called nutritional status. Food that we eat is made up of nutrients which include water, proteins, fats, carbohydrates, minerals and vitamins and they are required by the body in specific amounts depending upon age, sex, activity, climate, etc. What we eat is governed by our socio-cultural environment, educational level and economic conditions. All foods are not acceptable to everyone. There are individual variations in acceptance or refusal of food. The basic factors determining the acceptance of food are physiological ones which include hunger and sensations produced by food and social and psychological factors which include role of culture, social values, religious and moral values, age and sex and also the emotional outlet or security provided by food. 1.6 Glossary Absorption Process by which nutrients are taken into the blood Stream Culture Accepted practice in a community Digestion Breakdown of a food in the body by digestive juices So As to convert it to such a form which can be absorbed in The body Health Physical Mental and social well-being Hunger Desire to eat food. Metabolism. Process of utilization of food for internal body processes. Puberty. Period when secondary sexual characteristics develop and sexual reproduction becomes possible. Psychological. Pertaining to the mind. Social. Pertaining to human relations. 1.7. Answers to check your progress exercises. Check your progress exercise 1. 1. Food is something we eat and which can be utilized by our body while nutrition is the process by which we utilize food. 2. State of our body as influenced by the kind of food we consume and utilize is called nutritional status e. g. Weight or height. 3. Nutrients are basic constituents of food which promote good health. 4. Carbohydrates, fats, proteins minerals, vitamins and water are nutrients. Thank you. We will see you in the next video.